my loves good morning welcome to a weekly vlog i really need to wear something other than this jumper but i love it a lot um <laughs> it was from um gilly hicks and i did like a paid job with them and they sent me this and it's so nice i get a lot of questions about it so it's from gilly hicks i'll leave the link in the description just got off a phone call with my manager it was like a 40 minute long phone call it didn't feel that long at all but we had a lot to catch up on a lot of exciting things in the works um hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and stuff that i'm making yeah this week i think it's mainly gonna be a work week i'm seeing my boyfriend this weekend as usual um we're going to a party it's mother's day on sunday so you'll see grandma in this vlog just gonna dive into this box i literally have got two rather large boxes from prime i think i'm gonna go on to skillshare in a little bit to learn new things basically so um, I'm going to open these, sort them out, probably wrap them up. I might not wrap them up today, that's a lot of effort, isn't it? And then I will show you what I've decided to learn. The lovely people over at Skillshare actually got in touch with me and asked me to tell you guys about what they do. And basically, I thought I'd talk you through it because last night I set up my account. It's an online learning community and it's got over 25,000 classes in design, business and more. And I really like that the, 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 I really like that there's classes on like entrepreneurship, businesses, marketing, like that's the kind of stuff I need help with. So I've got a premium membership and with that I get to join classes and communities that suit me. Um, I want to look into like email marketing and stuff for my, my new website. I need all the help I can get at this point. But yeah, it's a perfect place to learn and create new goals for yourself. So today I think I'm gonna try a class and Skillshare have actually given me a link to a two month free trial subscription for you guys. So if you want to, give Skillshare a go. You can sign up for a two month free trial, no obligation at all. So you can see what you think of it for two months. So the first 500 of you guys who click that link and sign up will get that. So be quick, always love a freebie. So why not? I'm gonna go on to one of the classes now and see if I learn anything. I hope I do because I'm really losing my mojo. Or even an artist painter, there are a lot of painters that make a lot of so today we're going to talk about how to get clarity in those areas. I've got lost in uh, the Skillshare vortex. I've now watched four videos. <laughs> um, I watched that first one on Skillshare as you saw and then I ended up clicking on like four more and I've written so many notes. I found it- my camera battery died but yeah I'm finding it so interesting. Um, I've got a lot of notes and I'm gonna kind of process through them and hopefully I'll learn and be able to apply what I've learnt to myself and my business and my life. But yeah, for now, I am gonna go into my website. I am going to try and apply the things I've learnt and hopefully next time I talk to you guys, I will have made progress because I've been a bit stuck the past few days. So some time has passed. Um, my printer is printing out a worksheet, if you can hear that, and I've filled in an existing worksheet and I feel like I'm learning a lot, you know? When I'm feeling demotivated, I really need to look at existing creatives online and like follow their advice because I'm my world's, well, wait, I'm my own worst critic and I get stuck in such a rut because obviously I work for myself, I don't have anyone else motivating me, it gets a bit tricky sometimes. But yeah, it's been really nice having a little bit of like an educational journey. I do like learning as much as I couldn't wait to finish uni. I do like uni. I mean, wait, I do like, I liked uni. I do like learning. I very much made a mess of this bed, but I'm gonna watch the next video and hopefully put some things into practice. I do wanna get a logo actually for my design side of things. Cause obviously like this channel, is more about me whereas like my website and my other channel is more about like design so i want a logo of some sort but i can't really work out what logo i've done a lot of work today but i wanted to show you that i have discovered a new game and it's the harry potter game i actually love it so i'm currently learning quidditch <laughs> Um, I only had this from like last night and I'll probably get bored of it in a week because that's just how things go with me but 
very much enjoying it and I'm gonna play some Quidditch. I also downloaded Sims for my phone because last night I was bored. So yeah, here's Madam Hooch. It's so good, the graphics are amazing and this is like satisfying my loss of Harry Potter in my life because you guys know I finished the book recently and all the films and now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> this photo on my TV <laughs> um okay <laughs> hello pals how are you doing today is Wednesday it is about half five six p.m. I think um, I've been filming a day in the life of a graphic designer video so I completely forgot to pick up my camera for vlogging purposes um, it's really confusing juggling like doing a daily vlog doing a weekly vlog and posted on Instagram stories. Struggle is real right? First world influencer problems. Still hate that word but yeah my brain's a bit frazzled so I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Um, I really want to take my makeup off but I also want to stay kind of semi presentable in the video so I'm gonna have to keep it on. <laughs> it's like the first time I put makeup on in like three days and I'm enjoying how it looks but it pained me putting it on. Like I'm so lazy. But I think I'm now going to draw something on my iPad. I'm not quite sure what. Like, I drew the sloth print, which you guys seem to really like. I posted it on Twitter and Instagram. And I actually love it. Like, I'd definitely buy bedding with that print on. It was inspired, heavily inspired by, I think it's an Urban Outfitters bedding. Um, so I did it kind of as inspiration from that. But, yeah, I'd love to make that into a print or a pattern or something. But logistic-wise probably not the easiest thing to do um i got another thing finished for my website which i'm gonna try and get on there and uploaded and stuff tonight and then at least i've got one definite thing done um tidied my office sorted my life out a bit i've actually had a really productive day minus playing harry potter and the sims on my phone in my little breaks but it's quite fun actually to have something to do as like a downtime thing because I'm really hot. I'm really bad at switching off from work but yeah so just need to figure out what to draw on my iPad really oh mates I'm so tired I'm so tired I've just ended the uh, day in the life video um i've actually been kind of half editing it as i've been going just to make sure that it makes sense because it's been such a long time since i filmed a video like this i've just made two phone wallpapers for uh downloads on my website which is exciting and it is now almost half past eight and i'm gonna go downstairs and cook dinner by cook dinner i mean warm up dinner because my dad cooked it earlier <laughs> good morning so today is Thursday yeah Thursday um and I've decided I should probably actually leave the house I've not left the house since Sunday and I'd completely not realized it's been good because I've been super productive and I've got lots of work done and I've got all the videos done I needed to get done and I've kind of caught up from me not being in the office like four days last week but then also it's just not good is it not going out for <laughs> four whole days so I'm gonna nip to Tesco, I need to get some mascara, I want a micellar water because the one I bought had oil in it and apparently that's not very good for acne prone skin so I'm gonna go and get a different one and then I'm gonna get some ingredients for smoothies I think because you can get like frozen bags of fruit pre kind of portioned and then just get some juice and make a smoothie 
um, in an attempt to be a bit healthier and I do actually really love smoothies and I've got a blender thing that's really good so I'm gonna go do that I'm gonna hope my car starts because I've not actually driven this since I think it was Tuesday like when I got back from Leeds last week hey she started well done Bella right let's go get some bits from Tesco and try and not buy the entire shop because I'm very hungry right now I know what the girl in me this reminds me of going out when I was 18. When was that? What year was that? Uh, 2013? Vibes? Maybe 2014 when I used to go to town every Tuesday in Donny. Woo! I know generally face wipes are kind of frowned upon, but I saw an advert and Simple have actually brought out biodegradable cleansing wipes, which I feel like is a step in the right direction. I mean, it's in plastic packaging, which kind of defeats the object but i mean they're giving it a go i just tried to find a micellar cleansing water i found a garnier one that doesn't have any oil in it i think and it's relatively cheap some of these bottles are like seven pound a bottle but this one's three so i got this one and like looked on the back and by the looks of it it's oil free so yeah do you know what i've had a pretty productive day today I managed to go tesco as you saw got my micellar water my uh mascara was on two for 12 pounds i think it was I, I did film it but i can't remember so i got two because i've loved that mascara for years um and then i got some smoothie mix and i found like a frozen smoothie mix that was like pre-done with just cut up fruit um and then you buy apple juice and i had one of those earlier and it was so good but yeah i've finished the video for tomorrow so it is the day in the life of a graphic designer video which I was filming yesterday. Um, I spent a long time doing it actually and I really enjoyed making it and editing it and I've actually also started doing the captions on my videos. I don't know if you've noticed but if you look on my video page you'll see underneath the thumbnail there's a little CC um, which basically means that it's got subtitles on it um, and I've started doing those. It does take a long time for me to do um and it is kind of tedious but i like to think that hopefully i'm helping people out who aren't as uh, like hard of hearing is that the phrase to use but yeah um it's nice to have like that extra little thing on there um so yeah i did that for my video i have um planned a bunch of stuff i'm going actually to birmingham next week with a brand which you will see soon and we're going for like a late mother's day treat me mum and grandma we're going to Birmingham and then we're going to Cadbury World and you guys know how much I love Cadbury World so I've been kind of prepping things for that because when I work with brands they generally have a bunch of different things that they want you to do um some key things they want you to say and then the links so I basically put it all into a big document I use Evernote now I used to just use Apple Notes but I don't know why I've found Evernote's a lot better since I switched I do use Apple Note for like my shopping lists and like packing lists and stuff, but for work stuff, I use Evernote. Um, so yeah, I did that and kind of scheduled a bunch of stuff. My brain is just tired now. Hello, my loves. Good morning. I have actually got dressed and ready today and I am such a catfish. <laughs> the transformation is crazy and I've just straightened my hair um, and me, mum and dad have actually spontaneously decided to go to Frankie and Benny's. Dad thought he had a meerkat meal deal and then he realised that they're only valid Sunday, Thursday. And obviously today is Friday. Um, but the Frankie and Benny's app actually have 40% off. So we're going to go there. This is why I love Frankie and Benny's. Um, <laughs> and no, I'm not sponsored. I just love Frankie and Benny's a lot. But yeah, that's the plan in a second. Mum and dad just nipped out because... We decided spontaneously this morning and I still had very wet hair so I've just kind of got ready and I'm waiting for them to get back. They just went and got a few bits from Home Bargains and then we'll be getting going. So yeah, today I am wearing a Mickey Mouse top or is it Minnie? Mickey from Primark, of course. Look, got a little tie, it's a crop top and then just my misguided vice jeans. I don't know if to tie my hair up or not but... 
I'm actually quite liking how it's looking to be honest although my grey hair is coming through so I might end up having to tie the top up which is so annoying <sighs> but yeah hope you're having a good Friday um I've got so many emails this morning from like potential brands and events and stuff I don't know why on a Friday because usually it's like midweek when you get kind of those emails and I've not had them for quite a while but today has been the day of emails it seems so I don't know I don't know what's going on but must be something in the air my manager just messaged me like it must be because it's sunny we've just got all those emails <laughs> honestly i woke up to like four taxi of dad has picked me up and i'm very excited to go frankie benny's i might have to get what i got last time it was like spaghetti and chicken and cheese chips <gasps> we are very happy about this no you don't have to stop eating mum i won't get in your way <laughs> it's not worth it it's not worth my life <laughs> Kill me. Dad, yeah, dad's not gonna stop. Not dad's got a meat for his calzone, mum's got a skinny chicken pizza, peas and cheese fries, these are amazing. I got these for the first time last time and I had to get them again. And then I've got the meat for his pizza. Very happy. And that this isn't in adult size. It's a little swimming costume with mini on. I absolutely love it. I don't have any friends who have little children. <laughs> is she famous like i mean she'll she will be she will be the ground i've got no roots from my home oh they've got some very nice stuff in here roots. i've got no roots i have added another little item to my website today so that's really good um i'm glad i managed to go out with my family actually it's like a spontaneous decision to go frankie and benny's and it was really nice and the food was delicious as always so yeah sorry i'm like very twitchy i'm like partly on edge because i'm sat at the train station and i'm waiting for my boyfriend and i am going to jump on him because i've missed him a lot and also because some very strange guys um made me feel super uncomfortable in the morrison's car park earlier so that was fun not um but yeah i went to morrison's to go and get my boy's favorite chocolate um and on the way out there was these guys if you watch my instagram stories you'll hear this rant but these guys were like loading some stuff into a white van and they were giggling amongst themselves i didn't think anything of it because my dad drives a white van and he's a decent human being but these guys were living up to the stereotypical name because they were like jeering at me and giggling but in their own language so obviously they might have not been saying anything nasty but because they were giggling and looking at me and making me feel uncomfortable it was making it worse so now every time some people walk past my car like that i'm getting really edgy because i feel like they're just gonna like steal my belongings which is not okay because i should be allowed to go out at the age of 23 at half past eight it's not even half past eight what time is it quarter to eight in the evening without feeling like i'm gonna get mugged so yeah that was my uh evening annoyingly the boyfriend's train got delayed as usual honestly the train connection from his to mine is so annoying but he's taking his driving lessons so hopefully he won't have to do it that much longer i admire his dedication because i don't think i could do that journey on the trains every other week like he does because i did it once and it drove me insane <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna watch out for him now because i think he's due anytime he said his train got in at 44 and it's 43 so where are you i want a cuddle and reassurance i'm anxious mm. what's on the radio from lloyd's bank it's good to talk about money shit that's what's on the radio oh also we booked my car in through an mot and it's the first mot i have been in control of this car that doesn't make sense it's the first mot i've had to do for this car because i've had her for nearly a year now which is exciting and very weird it's still surreal that i bought this car and i love her a lot um so yeah we've booked her in for a first mot on wednesday next week and kind of terrified not gonna lie i i have every faith in you bella but it's like dropping off your child or what i'd imagine this to be because i don't have a child I feel like it's dropping off your child for surgery and then I spend the whole day completely on edge because I feel like the car is going to cost me a lot of money and I don't want it to. Um, I've got a bit more faith in this car than I did my old one because Sally, my old car, was 
was an old girl so she was prone to having things wrong with her but cars are just expensive aren't they and because i drive an automatic if things go wrong in automatics generally they go really wrong unless like if it goes wrong with the engine it's really wrong if it goes wrong with like the tires and stuff obviously they're the same but like if something goes wrong with the gearbox i am screwed so <laughs> cross your fingers for me on wednesday i'm going at 9am on wednesday morning so that's a wonderful way to start my day <sighs> i just want a cuddle i'm so needy <laughs> Yeah, jumbo jumbo. <laughs> oh, jumbo now. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna stop that. We stopped the Bluetooth thing, and that came on on the radio, so we just had a bit of a dance party. But um, the boy is here. Here's his nipples. <laughs> but we're gonna go and get a card because we're going to a birthday party tonight and some stuff for my brother and my dad's birthday because they're the day after each other. April is a very expensive month for me <laughs> and I kind of forgot. Yes, I can't remember what this is, but it tastes amazing. Happy Mummy's Day. Thanks. Woo. Hello, my loves. I promise I did actually get dressed today. That's why I've got makeup on, but my top was uncomfortable so i put this on what a surprise um but yeah today is mother's day and it's the end of the vlog um grandma came oh hiccup i gave mum her present presents i bought her a recipe file thing where you can write in your own recipes because mum's got bits of paper everywhere for various recipes and also a little travel jewelry box for when she goes on holiday and then grandma i got her a royal horticultural society bible basically how to garden and when to do different things to the garden and a little brooch and yeah it was a really nice day uh, we had sunday dinner and then my brother and his fiance came round they did their mother's day stuff and we had a good old natter so it's been a nice nice little family day which obviously means i don't vlog too much of it but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog um what shall the comment be i feel like i've already asked what your favorite part of a sunday dinner is <laughs> why does my question of the week always end up being food related Hmm. I know let's do it about pudding so we had chocolate log like chocolate roll thing and cream for pudding and then the other guys had like sponge cake and custard for pudding so my question for you this week is what is your go-to pudding choice mine is anything chocolate so like do you know what chocolate fudge cake and ice cream I love the contrast between the hot chocolate fudge cake and the cold ice cream I feel like that's a go go to for me for sure so yeah watch yours <laughs> thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it please do check out my previous video the day in the life of a graphic designer and show it some love because i'm really proud of how that turned out actually um so i'll definitely have to film more of those soon but yeah thanks again and i'll see you soon for another video bye <laughs>